752 here at Big 550 KTRS. He's one of the best in the business. He's ABC News political analyst Matt Dowd. Matt, thanks for joining us once again. And you were right. You said the polls were going to tighten as we got closer to election. <laughs> well, thank you. It's great to be here. Yeah, I mean, I think this is a natural tendency of this race, which is a very close race with right now Hillary with a slight lead, a three-point lead or so, my guess is, is what it's around about with an electoral college lead. But this race is going to be go to the debates and go down to the wire. It could break actually one way or the other, but the debates are going to matter in this thing huge. Let's talk about Democrats who are voting for Trump and Republicans who are voting for Hillary. It seems like they have the same problem. It looks like, and it looks like there is a percentage of obviously Republicans voting for Hillary because they don't like Donald Trump, and the same is true as you just said for Hillary. I think the fascinating thing about this is I think we're seeing a consolidation of those partisanship. I think not because they like their candidate of their party, but because they don't like the candidate of their other party more. I think um, negative is being driven more than positive right now. The other group to really look at, which I think is going to be decisive in this election, are independents. <laughs> they're swinging all over. Um, one, you know, one week they're with Hillary. The next week they're with Donald Trump. They don't like either candidate. They don't trust either candidate. And they're trying to make up their mind. So they keep going back to the models of 2012. And President Obama, I don't know what you call it, but he brought out unprecedented numbers of minorities, African-American voters. Hillary Clinton could still win that same percentage. But if the numbers don't come out the way they came out for Obama, that's a major problem for her. Yes, and I think that you've touched on one thing I don't think the media has been very good at is, is that I don't think this electorate is going to look like 2012. Uh, every election is different depending on the candidates running and the dynamics in the office. 2008 election, when Obama first got elected, President Obama first got elected, didn't look like, didn't match 2004, a presidential race four years earlier when George W. Bush run, won. I don't think it's going to look like 2004. I don't think it's going to look like 2012. So I, don't, I think understanding exactly the demography of this um, is anybody's guess right now. Um, that's why I think this race is so incredibly close. With the Dallas Morning News coming out and supporting uh, Hillary Clinton, and you see this sort of blurred lines, you've mentioned this before, is that the beginnings, as you see it, of these parties realign? Well, I think it's the beginning of both a potential realignment of the parties, but also the potential growth and acceleration of something new, which I think is going to be independence. And I don't think it's going to happen this year, but we're seeing signs of it in the race. But I think in 2018, I expect to see a whole bunch of people running, not as a Democrat and not as a Republican, because there's such an incredible frustration with the system, but as independent people saying that I'm tired of it, it's broken, it doesn't work. Look what we just experienced in the presidential race. I'm running on my own, unaffiliated with both parties. That is what I think is more likely to happen and one of the two, one or both of the parties fundamentally changing. With, with that being said, how much damage is Gary Johnson doing to either or both of them? Well, I think a combination of Gary Johnson and Jill Stein, the Green Party candidate, is damaging both of them. And I think one big damage of this is, is that whoever's elected president likely is going to get elected with 45, 44, 46 percent of the vote. They're not going to have any mandate, and a majority of the country is going to dislike the result. Matt Dowd, nobody can dislike you. You're the best. Thanks for checking in, Matt. Have a good one.